So we are at the India Bike Week. Right now we have a couple of renditions of the Harley Davidson X440. One of the custom builds that caught my eye was the Cafe Racer build that is done by TNT Motorcycles and Naveen who has done the build is with us. Here is Naveen. Hey Naveen, how are you? Hi, I am. All good. So, this build is the most interesting build that I have seen out of the lot. And yesterday I was, you know, just, you know, having a look specifically with the colors that you have given and the carbon fiber look. So, tell us what this build is all about. Right, start from the beginning in terms of what you wanted to design with the motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, so, the idea behind Raptor was to make something which was, uh, what if uh, Harley Davidson decided to make a limited edition cafe racer? So uh, that was the idea and uh, we kept the fuel tank as, as, as the stock fuel tank. We wanted to showcase the lines the company wanted to showcase. The idea is so crazy because uh, Harley Davidson is known for their muscular and torquey engines and uh, they are based in America where they are freeways and you can just cruise for miles. On the other hand, Cafe Racer is the idea which was developed in the UK with the narrow roads and you know the, the corners and uh, the sitting posture is also very uh, contrasting in a Harley Davidson, you sit upright with your forward foot controls. In a cafe racer, you have got clip ons, very committed position with rear set foot pegs. So, the idea was to develop something which looks really muscular like a Harley Davidson, but it's really light on the feet so, uh, and performs really well. So, uh, from that idea, this bike originated uh, to keep the weight light. We used a lot of carbon fiber on this motorcycle, authentic carbon fiber, the front fender, uh, the cap between the headlight and the meter, and the rear scoop, the whole of it complete portion. All in all, it weighs somewhere around 850 grams. In a short while, all, the fiber. all the carbon fiber. All the carbon fiber is 850 grams. 850 grams, all of it. In totality, what was the stock weight of the bike that you started with, the X440? Uh, I, I, I won't be able to give you the figures. It was complete last minute. And uh, have you made any changes to the suspension as well? Uh, no, the suspension is stock, uh, but the wheel is 16 inches. Okay. It uh, carries now the A1 tire for the vintage look. Uh, both front and rear are 16 inches now. Uh, for uh, riding dynamics, we have converted it into a monoshock. Mm -hmm. So uh, that swing arm was heavily modified. This, this mono, right? this is yeah, this is a Showa monoshock, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it plays really well with the dynamics of the motorcycle. Okay. Uh, there goes and the taillight. We did uh, this footpeg mount uh, in house. Uh, these are aftermarket. It was crafted by Trip Machine. Okay. Uh, very nicely done in tobacco leather. Yeah. Suits the time and era as well. I'll show you one one very really nice thing if you come down here when you put your camera down here. Then you'll find a lot of branding done properly for Harley Davidson. Up, 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 up. So Harley Davidson TNT motorcycle logo. Yeah, yeah. So to improve the performance of the engine, what we have done, we have uh, re removed the stock exhaust. It's a completely handcrafted unit done in SS304, two-inch pipe all the way through. And this is a uh, complete custom SS exhaust. Uh, to couple it with, uh, uh, with the in, uh, intake of the engine, we have done a performance filter from BMC. After all these changes that you have done, Naveen, how much does it cost? Any idea? If, if I have to get it done think, on a X40, that's, that's up to the company for revealing how much how much they paid each and every. Still any sort of ballpark figure? Uh, see, see, to, you know, see a lot. Of it this way. Uh, we might be able to do such a such kind of kit in somewhere around 10 lakh rupees. 10 lakhs. Okay. So around uh, what 30, 40 lakhs sort of a thing will be motorcycle plus the. See, you cannot you cannot put a price on custom. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. It is like that. Uh, and how much time does this take? This whole thing? Uh, we did it all in two months, 50 days. It is. Like you were saying, there are some uh, some parts that still need you know some sort of fine tuning, or is it all all set? No, no. As as, as per as per the moment, it's all set. Okay. I'm not happy with the finish somewhere. Okay. Some some parts not not happy with the finish. Okay. But that's because of the time constraint and uh, somewhere you have to compromise. Makes sense. Cool. Thanks for your time, Naveen. Thank you.